Hello, my prophet family. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Liang. If this is your first time watching my video, you are very welcome. And God is welcome you to receive his prophetic word for my video every day. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you are very welcome to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I have a confirmation and encouraging message from the Lord for some people. It's not for everybody, so please take to Lord for confirmation. However, I think you might know this is for you or not once you watch my video. The Lord sent me a vision and asked me to deliver this message for some people. I saw a person hold a Chinese calligraphy brush like this, okay? It's a white color. The brush is white, okay? It's more white than this one because this one has been used by me. <laughs> Anyway, it's a white color brush. This brush has been used. So I'm gonna show you right now, okay? And this put brush inside, put some ink, right? So I'm not become black colors. If I use water to wash this, you see the whole water become black color, right? However, after several time, even I try to dry this, let me show you. I tried this several times, trying to remove all this uh, black color. Guess what? It was still black color on the brush. In the vision, I saw a person hold this uh, brush, this uh, calligraphy brush under the sink for set to rinse with water. Uh, pretend this is a water from a faucet. So you open the faucet, so the water keep coming out, right? So this uh, person washing the this uh, brush, trying to wash. After a while, the brush still have some black color. Not so much like before, but still have some black color. Actually, there are several messages the Lord asked me to deliver through this vision. Very interesting and very meaningful. Do not skip this video. It's so important, very encouraging, and it's a confirmation to some of you that you have been waiting for for a long time. You want to hear what the Lord is going to tell you. You will like it, yes. The Lord asked me to tell some people that. First of all, He knows that sometimes you feel so regretful about what you have done in the past. Maybe you have done something bad. Maybe you have done something wrongly to someone. Or you have said something wrongly to someone to hurt somebody else's feeling. Or even because of this, you broke up with that person. Or that person broke up with you. Or the result end up of being divorced with your ex-wife or as husband Or because you have done something wrongly, so your best friend left you. Or your family member decide not to talk to you anymore. Or somebody you loved so much decide to leave you. Or because you have done something wrongly, so you went to jail for a few years or for a while. Or because you have done something wrongly that your life becomes so miserable right now. Or everything just couldn't go back to what it looks like before. Today, the Lord asked me to tell you. He heard your prayers. He heard you ask Him for forgiveness. So the Lord wants me to tell you. He forgives you completely. 
No worry. No more sadness for you anymore. Don't be sad. Don't feel so regretful. The past, just let it stay in the past. You cannot let the time to come back again. However, the Lord forgives you. The most important is Father forgives you. Okay? It's just like this brush. After you use it, it still maintains black color. No matter how many times you try to wash it. Okay? Because it's been colored with black color. The Lord used this brush to tell you that. He understands that. You put the brush under this water, trying to rinse with water because you want to wash away what you have done before. You wish everything would be disappeared completely forever and ever. You wish the thing never happened before. Unfortunately, it did happen. You cannot take a thing back. You cannot make things start over again. But the Lord said, no worry. The Lord want me to tell you something. Even this brush still have some black color. After you wash it several times later, it will become like this, okay? <laughs> yeah. After you wash it several times later, still have some black color, you see? Even the brush original is white color, but still has some black color ink here, okay? After you wash several times. The Lord said, it doesn't matter. Because in the Lord's mind, you have been forgiven. Your spirit become pure again after you ask him for forgiveness. Just like when you got baptized, everything you have done before has been washed away by the blood of Jesus. On the day when you got baptized, you must believe that. The same thing is going to happen to you today because you ask him for forgiveness. So the Lord uses his water to rinse away your sins. That the faucet, the water coming out from the faucet. Okay, you open it, water keep flowing. Wash away everything that you have done wrongly in the past, you are forgiven. Maybe there still have some black color on the brush, right? This one really bothered you so much. The Lord understand that. He knows in your mind, you still cannot forget what has happened in the past. You wish you never went to jail before. You wish you never did that before. The Lord said, even if you still have a mark, he's talking about this, okay? The black color still here, you see, okay? Even if you still have a mark in your body, in your life, the thing is still in your mind, in your life, okay, you have a record, right? I mean, no matter the record is a record in your background, uh, check your background information or in your mind. The Lord said, it doesn't matter. The most importantly is in the Lord's mind, you don't have any mark, okay? You don't have any mark. In Father's might, because you are pure. Your spirit has been purified. Your spirit, your sin has been purified by 
holy water from the Lord, from heaven. Another thing the Lord asked me to tell you is, He said, He understands that you wish this person could come back to you. You wish this relationship could be restored again. You wish you can have one more chance to be with that person. You wish you could do that again. You wish you never did something wrong so you can still have that job, that work, that assignment, that program, whatever you wish you could have it again. The Lord said, it's okay. Let it go. Let her go. Let him go. Because the Lord is doing something to help you rinse all of these bad memories from your mind, from your life. So he can give you a new thing, new person into your new chapter of your life. He said, step out of this past and enter your new chapter of your life. The Lord already gave to you. Okay? The Lord said, you didn't lose anything. You didn't lose someone because that person only showed up in your life for a certain of time, not forever. The Lord has a better one for you, has a real kingdom spouse for you. That thing only stayed with you for a while. That job, that work, that project, that program, only stay with you for a certain time because the Lord has a better assignment for you, a better job, better program, better project, better job for you. You have to let it past so you can receive the new one, new thing coming to you from the Lord. The Lord said, brush can be purified by the Lord. Only if you could let the past stay in the past and accept a new thing from the Lord for you. The Holy Spirit asks you to read Romans chapter 6, verse 4. We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead, through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Yes. The Lord wants us to live in a new life based on His plan for your life. You must let the past stay in the past and enter your new season, your new chapter of your life. Don't be sad about what happened in the past, okay? Don't feel so regretful for what you have lost in the past. No matter what it is, don't blame on yourself again because you are forgiven for what you have done wrongly in the past. And He is going to give you a new life with a new chapter with a new person, with a new assignment, with a new job, new program, new project, new thing to you. If you already received this message right now, please post your comment under my video to let God know that you receive it. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in the next video. God loves you and I love you too. Bye.